was really bad because I was like, I felt so bad about it. And here we go. Um, I called like child services mm -hmm. on this one. <laughs> I, got, I called child services on my ex because he pissed me off. Oh, 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 oh. this one, she's a keeper. And then I was like, yeah, I'm done with this person, whatever. Like, you know, cheater, fucking piece of shit. Mm -hmm. lies about dumb shit he had kids i called child services mm -hmm. on his ass and i like fabricated everything and like said certain things this is bullshit so they like went to the door and like there was a whole process like what the fuck i don't even know if the children's aid worker still visits them but she probably does because what i said like the way i ai'd that shit mm -hmm. you know like real ai shit like Fake bruises type shit. <laughs> I'm so sick of these people. You, you know? Oh! Be careful, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty crazy. So you fake bruises, you fake shit, and then you just made like exaggeration story and then- On their kid, on, on his kids. What the fuck is this world? What have they done to us? Yeah. Like, so hit, like, yeah, then they came and they were like, oh, like, we're seeing stuff that your kids are being abused. You know, you could lose your kids. And I was just like, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, should have been nicer to me, bitch. Fuck you. Why don't you go back to your home on Whore Island? Hey, if you recently got married, watch this. Now that's fucked up. We will miss her so much. And she was so sweet. She was never angry. She was never mean. She always had a nice thing to say. Bitch! Never negative. He called. Why is it controlling? How about a guy just has some standards for himself and he's saying to himself, if I'm gonna date you and we're gonna be exclusive and I'm gonna prioritize you in multiple ways, I have expectations of you, which means that you're not going to go out, get sloppy drunk with your friends, be around a bunch of guys that are going to be like, eh, the whole time and maybe behave badly because people make not so great decisions when they drink. And why are you putting yourself in that situation? I don't want to give my exclusivity to someone who's going to voluntarily put themselves in those situations. And by the way, if you have me and you're so happy with me, why do you need to do all of that? Perfectly reasonable for a man to come to the table and say those things. Guys are afraid to say them oftentimes because they're afraid of losing a woman. Don't be afraid men to lose a woman who behaves badly. It will be an enormous favor to you if you lose someone that disrespects you consistently. Don't be afraid of the loss. Hey, what's up? Hope your weekend went well. Uh, what do you think about that opening clip? I mean, fucking disgusting, right? What kind of, what kind of a piece of shit do you have to be to do that kind of thing, let alone like brag about it and laugh about it. I mean, she didn't even realize that it made her look bad until the guy looked at the camera and said, be careful, fellas. That's when it clued in that, oh, maybe this doesn't make me look so good. And, and who the fuck is the host anyway? Laughing along with her, encouraging her. This is like, what the fuck is this world? Jesus. But look, anyways, luckily, I think, now don't take my word for it, but I think it won't be too long before there will be repercussions for this kind of thing. Because lately, it seems like they're implementing more laws that protect men. You know, in some cases, they have no-fault divorce if there's, the woman doesn't have a valid reason. Uh, more laws around DNA testing, paternity testing, and having consequences for all the, the paternity fraud out there. And all those things are steps in the right direction. So hopefully, they'll get more strict about these false, false accusations. Uh, fingers crossed, knock on wood, what can I say? But uh, look, anyway, hope you're enjoying the video so far. Uh, let's get back into it. Welcome to Mankind. Why you coming home so late, Quavius? Why you young? Where was you at, Quavius? I was at work. You ain't got no job, Quavius. Oh, yeah. Stop running away. My bad. See, I know you lying because you can't even look me dead in my face. You can't even be a man about you. Get in my face. If you cheating on me, let me know you cheating on me. I know you got mad next to around here. I know you flocking around, flying the bitches all over. I hate you, Quavius. Oh, oh, now you hate me. Let me smell your big dick. Hell no, you ain't smell my big dick. I know you that worm. Get out of here.
So you're a liar. Block with the right, distracting back fist, number one side kick, and spin crescent kick. There we go. Boom. Got him. Got him. Got you, didn't she, Rick? No, I was just doing what you told me to do. Well, that's fine. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Think you can beat this combination? I think Marge and I know different, don't we, Marge? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's do this again. Sir. Marge, ready stance. Sir. Keep your eyes on Rick, and don't forget the distracting back fist. That's the key. Rick, you come with whatever you got. Full contact. No holds barred, okay? I'm going to warn you. I don't think you're going to like how this ends, hot shot. Face your partner. Sir. Kung Nae? Sparring stances? Sinjit! She's still alive? Oh, you, oh, you wanna fuck with me now? <laughs> Please test me and see what happens. Hey, look, first of all, I gotta say, I don't condone hitting women at all. But I just thought this, this clip was a really great representation of, of society in a way. You know, you have this woman, this modern woman, this independent woman entered into this physical space, believing she can do anything a man can do. And then you have the man looking back at her, thinking to himself, confused, like there are certain things we, that where we're not equal. And then you have the trainer in this case who represents feminists or, or the subset of men who, who buy into the feminist bullshit you know, helping feed her ego, helping her create this fantasy world where she believes shit that just simply is not true. But I don't know. I just thought it was a really great representation of how society functions around the idea of equality. <laughs>
See, gaslighting only works for people that's gullible. See, they'll try to do some fuck shit. Then when you call them out on the fuck shit, they'll try to switch around and make shit like you crazy. Bitch, I ain't crazy. I have all the fucking sense in the world. Then when they see they don't work, they want to talk about they gone. Bitch, be my- It's not necessarily just gullible people that fall for gaslighting. You know, it's people who want to believe in the best in their partner. And if you, and you have a woman who's who's willing to take advantage of that fact. And if you, if you have a woman and you brought her into your life and she's willing to take advantage of your vulnerabilities like that, and you need to walk because there's no telling how far she'll she'll be willing to take that down the line when when you're deeper into the relationship and you're having more serious problems and for a relationship to work you need communication and, and if she's unwilling to communicate like a normal fucking human being without making you feel like shit without blaming you for shit especially if she's trying to cover up for shit that she did then you need to walk away i mean you deserve someone who's willing to communicate like a normal adult human and if you keep seeing this type of thing happening, clearly she's not the same person that she used to be. You're just trying to convince yourself that she is. You need to take a step back and really take a bird's eye view. And even if it's fucking tough, when the time comes, you need to protect yourself. Grab your balls and walk away or show her the fucking door. <laughs> I knew this house looked familiar. 6420. Melissa! I know what you did to my boy, Melissa. You broke up him dirty. This is your food? <laughs> Go ahead, eat your Taco Bell. That's what you get. Hey, always keep them guessing, always leave them wanting more. Friendly reminder that in three generations, everyone who knew us will be dead, including the people whose opinions stopped you from doing what you wanted all along. Imagine that someone you know achieves every dream and hits every goal they have. Years later, they get old and die. Two years after that, how much do you care? About as much as everyone else will if you accomplish your goals and dreams. Do it for you.